Okay, um, now let's do another name that starts with the same. Okay, if we wanna, if I wanna work right through autocomplete, I just keep typing. Okay, enter, and now I'm gonna press the down arrow. So now I'm typing in J E R, and you can see that uh, it hasn't. Um, the autocomplete feature hasn't taken effect because there are two different names that start with JRE. As soon as I hit the A, now it has eliminated all other names and has com auto automatically completed it for me. And I hit enter. So you can see that's a pretty um, useful feature. Uh, another thing you can do is you can use the autocorrect feature of Excel to help with some data entry techniques. Um, I'll just move down here. Let's say that there's a company with a really long name and we want to use an acronym instead of having to type in their name. So company with long name. We'll use the uh, C C W L N as an acronym. All right, so what we can do is we can go to file options and then the Excel options dialog box will appear. Click on proofing. And then here we have the autocorrect options button. We click on that. And then right here we can just replace our acronym CWLN with company with long name. So this is meant to um, basically correct misspelled words, but we can. Um, also use it for feet for um, data entry tricks such as this so there I entered what I want to replace CWLN with company with long name and I'm gonna click the add button that's gonna add that to my to my autocorrect list and I'm gonna click OK and then we click OK again and now we click OK out of our Excel options dialog box and watch what happens C W L N enter and nothing happened <laughs> okay let me try this again file options I always learn by mistakes but I'm pretty sure I did that right autocorrect options company C W L N it's there I'm not sure what that is. Okay, well there it worked that time. I guess I forgot to click OK on that box. Okay, so again, just to show that it worked, company with long name, CWLN, enter. Okay. Okay, um, just other things you can do is copying and pasting different cells. You can um, click on a name here, click on a cell, press Control C. That's a shortcut. Then I can click on another cell and I press Control V. I'm pretty sure you've done that before. But if you haven't, that's how you can copy and paste content. Um, another way you can do it, click on a cell. You can just click the copy button up here in the clipboard and then select a cell and then up here select the paste button there's definitely a lot more detailed copy and paste um, features but you're gonna have to go into my other tutorials to get into more detail again these are the most basic things you need to know how to do alright so you can see here um, <clears throat> well, I guess if we're covering um, entering in content I'll just go over formulas now alright well, how to clear content the most basic way to clear content you can just 
hold your uh, select the cell of the contents in, and press backspace. A much more efficient way is to select the cells, all cells that contain content. You can go up here to the clear button and you can select clear contents. And there all the content has been cleared. All right, formulas. I'm going to cover uh, formulas. This is, formulas are really what makes Excel uh, as powerful as it is. All right, so here I'm just going to enter in some numbers. Okay, there I'm entering in some numbers. Um, okay, to tell Excel, the basic formulas that you need to go over um, is going to be like the basic arithmetic, um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Um, you need to know the Excel operators. Excel operators, it's just the same thing. Plus is going to be the plus symbol. So when you type that in, Excel is going to know to add something together. Minus forward slash is division. <clears throat> and then multiplication is the asterisk or the star. Excel will not um, do a formula unless you first open it up with the equal sign. So to let Excel know you're doing a formula or a function, you must first hit equals. And then you can do something like, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to say this cell equals 5 plus 5. So I'm manually entering in numbers. 5 plus 5. And the result is 10. It will display the result. I can also, now I just want, I'm going to move to another cell so you know that I'm not referring to these cells at all. These are just manually entered in formulas. Equals. 5 minus 2 and the result will be 3 okay equals 5 times 5 and you can see that's multiplication 5 times 5 25 and then 10 divided by 2 or equals see equals 10 divided by 2 and there our results 5 so <laughs> that's the most basic way to do formulas um, what makes Excel Efficient though is that you can refer to cells. So over here, here I'll just say result. I'll title this result for this cell. And these are all the numbers. I can say equals cell, the content inside of cell B4. And you can see that once I select a cell, that a formula is referring to those little marching lines going around that cell. So B4 plus the content that is inside cell C4. And I hit enter. And there we have 45 plus 5, and our result's 50. But watch this. I can change a number because since it's referring to the cell, and it's going to change my result. I can change this to 20, and it's going to change my result again. So I'm referring to cells. <clears throat> um, and then again, I can do multiplication. Cell B4 times cell c4 and I can keep going plus cell d4 minus cell e4 divided by cell f4 it's important you know the order of operations I have a tutorial for that as well I um, just need to look it up and I'm sure there's plenty of other tutorials on that but you need to know that before you really get into formulas um, I can do equals so that cell plus cell C4 plus cell D4 plus cell E4 plus cell F4. And as you can see, that can start getting kind of monotonous. So luckily, we have functions that do a lot of the form, uh, calculating for us. So I'll show you one function. It's the sum function. Now, the way you're going to find functions is a uh, formulas tab. And right here where you says it says in, you can click the insert function button and then you're going to have a the function dialog box. So if you want to find the um, you can see there's three different categories here. Um, if you want to find a function that will add, add numbers together, you can type in a description. Add numbers together. Excel is going to read that description and it's going to find the most relevant function. So I entered in add numbers together, click go, and you can see right here it has a list.